So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Kung bago ka dito, this is Teacher Ted's, and in this channel, I talk about licensure examination for teachers. Para ma-update ka sa mga video ko, just click down the subscribe button at yung katabi nitong notification bell para ma-update ka sa lahat ng mga video na gagawin ko, especially about LED. So kung hindi ka pa nakaka-subscribe, please consider subscribing to my channel. So, in this video guys, we will discuss about the important keywords from different philosophical foundation of education. Hindi na natin expand or elaborate ng mahaba. I will just mention to you guys the important keywords na kailangan yung natandaan for these philosophical foundations or yung mga isms in education. So, without further ado, let's start. Number one, idealism. So, when we say idealism, guys, I have my note here. When we say idealism, we talk about the mind, God, ideas, knowledge, and moral. So, these are the things that you need to remember sa idealism. So, number two, two, realism from the word Real, ibig sabihin totoo. Everything real will fall under realism. So the keywords there are um, realities of life, signs, of course, facts, concrete matters. So those are the important keywords sa realism. So tandaan nyo yan ha. Yun yung mga bagay na kailangan yung tandaan when we talk about um, realism. Number three pragmatism so when we say pragmatism guys it talks about the society it reflects about the society and it also talks about the needs and interest of the children so so number four is perennialism so when we say perennialism guys it talks about the eternal truth Specialization, time, great textbooks, longer time, true intellects and concepts. So that's the keyword that you need to remember when we talk about perennialism. Okay. So number five, for me, ito yung pinakamadali among the isms. Number five natin ay essentialism. So when we say essentialism it talks about what are essentials and the most common keyword there is back to basic so basic kasama na dun yung 4R natin so yun lang yun yung pinakamadali I guess to number 6 so let's proceed to number 6 which is progressivism when we say Progressivism, it talks about first, the process of development, second, the whole child, and it talks. It also talks about individuality. Mm, additionally, it talks about the abilities, the usefulness, and it interact with ever-changing environment. Yung learning by doing is also under progressivism. So, yun yung mga keyword that you need to remember when we are talking about progressivism. Number 7. Ang number 7 guys ay isa rin sa pinakamadaling uh, tandaan kapag pinag-uusapan natin yung mga isem sa education. So, number 7 is extensionalism. So, kapag extensionalism, um, most commonly ito yung your existence it also talks about the free will and knowing yourself important keyword in existentialism is the existence your own existence in this world and last okay. but not the least on my list about the philosophical foundation of education our number 8 is the 
social reconstructionism. So, kapag sinabi nating social reconstructionism, tinutukoy dito ang social questions, better society, social reform, and it also talks about change. So, that's it guys. Yun yung mga important keywords na nais kong ibahagi sa inyo na ginamit ko while I am reviewing for my let. So, I hope nakatulong sa inyo ang video na to. And if you have questions, just comment down below and I will be happy to answer all your questions. Once again, this is Teacher Teds and I am your new let coach.